Hi everyone, it's Galen again. Today I'm going to show you how to create this vibrant watercolor background. I'm using Bruchot Crystal Colors by Colorcraft. And I'm beginning with the stamp from Unity Stamp Company called Hot Mess. It's a border background. And I also used a sentiment kit called Cuppa Comfort. And I'm using this sentiment um, out of that one. I'm using my Creative Time dies, stitched rectangular dies, and bunch of fun stitched circle dies. I also use Nina um, 110 pound card base. I score it in the middle. I trim, I trim one half of an eight and a half by 11 uh, sheet of cardstock and I score it in the middle. I'm using Versamark ink along with white embossing powder. I use foam tape and a big roll and I use Brucho Crystal Colors uh, powders. I'm using the colors of orange and brilliant red. I pierced the top of the plastic containers just so that I could use it as a shaker. And I also use a mini spray bottle called a mini mister. And sometimes I use a plastic craft mat by Tim Holtz Ranger. I just cut it to the size I want. I use it over and over. And I'm using the original Misty along with stamping with Jet Black Ar Archival Ink. I stamp the sentiment on regular cardstock. And I'm stamping the background on Ranger watercolor paper. I, I like to do the big stamps on a bigger piece of watercolor paper. I add a little bit of EK Success powder using a powder tool before I stamp. And I stamp with Versamark ink and then I heat emboss it with white um, embossing powder. I like to stamp on the smooth side of the watercolor paper just to um, get a better clear stamping, uh, stamping image anyway. I die cut um, the background panel with a rectangle die and I die cut the sentiment with a smaller die. Now I'm spraying with a mini mister some water onto the panel and I'm using the orange powder, crystal powder, and I'm just gently tapping and shaking uh, the bottle over the water. And now I'm, I'm using Brilliant Red it actually dries to more of a pink color. Um, and I'm adding it to the other side on top of the water, just shaking a little bit of powder on top of the water. And then I, I mix the colors in, in the middle. Now you go again with the spray bottle, a mini mister. Or uh, you can clap your hands to get water over it, but I like, I like the mini mister. comes out real fine. And you just slowly add, add water with the mister until you get the variation of colors that you like. Um, it looks real messy. Now I take a dry paper towel and I dab the edges just to get the puddles away from the sides. Um, with the embossing, some of uh, the center part accumulates where the stamping is. I leave a lot of that, but sometimes there's too much water, so I remove a, a, a bit more by just tapping with the paper towel again. And then I just clean the, the craft mat just enough so that I can start heat setting it and there won't be a lot of water on the craft mat. I let the pattern flow how it it wants to flow with with the powders it's real hard to get any kind of details so it's better for background images or uh, larger areas that you want to color it turned out so nice I love it so I just uh, used foam tape on the back of each of these panels and I layered it onto the cardstock base and then I added a few adhesive gems I wanted to uh, color in the heart so I used um, Prisma color uh, color pencil in magenta PC 930. Um, it's great to just add a bit of color where you want, where you want. And then that's it. 
It's great. Uh, it's a great card background. Uh, you can use any kind of stamping to do this. Thanks for watching. I hope you follow me. Have a good day. Bye-bye now.